Welcome Virgo to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, Intuition Bee Masters from Spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spare guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light to bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright, so Virgo, let's get right into the channeling. Spirit, please reveal to me who is connected to Virgos in love. What can you reveal to me about the person that is connected to Virgo in love? So overall, we have a soulmate. Okay, then we have let go, summer passion, peace, and sad and depressed. Hmm. Now, I, I'm getting a couple different messages here, and I have a feeling that Virgo, okay, whoever this soulmate is, um, I feel like they're at peace, okay, that at some point, um, this is someone that you have met um, in the summer months, okay, um, and they're really sad and depressed that it's time to let this relationship go. That is what I'm seeing. Let me go ahead and see what else. Spirit, what clear messages want to come through uh, when it comes to the person that is connected to Virgos and love? Who is this person uh, that is connected to Virgo and love? How does this person currently think? How do they feel? What is it that they want and what is the outcome? So I see her Knight of Pentacles. So uh, you could be dealing with another Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, uh, whatever the case is. Okay, um, this individual, I have a feeling that it's been a long time coming, and they're coming in really slow. Maybe you have actually spent the past year with this particular person, and things have been stagnant. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely see here the Nine of Swords energy. So um, this person feels as if um, too many people are watching them. They're very conscientious about their appearance. Um, I'm not saying that they're in vain or, um, you know, vanity is very important to them, but they definitely uh, care about how people per uh, perceive your person, okay? Um, they're kind of stressed out. Um, that I have a feeling that they've invested at least about a year of, um, in the past, uh, to be with you. And, um, also, uh, this person doesn't have anything to say, okay? Um, they could be younger than you, and, um, it's just like their level of maturity is a little bit different. You know, um, what I'm sensing is that, okay, uh, with this energy here, Whoever that you are with, this soulmate, you guys are not in alignment. And the reason why I say that is because this person's intellect is not in the same 
wavelength as yours. I have a feeling that uh, for you, Virgo, uh, you're very intellectual in nature and your person, um, they just can't really match your intellect. I, I have a feeling that you guys can't even have an intellectual conversation with one another because uh, they come in as a little bit immature okay or uh, just a little bit naive is is what i'm feeling now i see that um they uh, really want to be single okay maybe that is the reason why um it's time to let this go and they're kind of sad about it because at some point there was passion i have a feeling that they've made peace that um it is what it is okay it was just a moment in time uh where you guys had uh just uh passionate uh, connection with one another where it felt uh, fruitful um, it was like the the right place at the right time uh, energy um, that's what I'm seeing and right now um, they 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 really feel like they don't have much to offer okay I have a feeling that emotionally um, they're just not really open to connect with you you know, so this is the feeling that I'm also getting. Does this person know what love is? Because passion and love are two different things. You can be passionate uh, towards a, a person, place, or situation. Um, but it, is that love? Okay, your person, um, I feel that they're very reserved. They're holding back how they truly feel. And uh, what I'm seeing is we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, um... I have a feeling that whoever that you're dealing with, Virgo, they're actually getting out of a, a commitment or some sort of long-term relationship. Now, this could be with you. This could be with someone else. Take it as it resonates, but it's with someone. Yeah, I see here the devil. Um, again, this goes back to the passion. Um, you know, was it just like a passion the throes of passion they were caught in this web um that, that they felt stuck to okay there was like an attachment is what i'm hearing and um they're really hurt okay uh they were trying to really heal from this from their choices and decisions and what i'm seeing it's uh this queen of pentacles so there could have been a mother figure or uh, a boss um another female energy that got in the way between you and them and um your person really didn't feel like they fit in okay that's what i'm hearing and for some maybe uh this person had expectations okay that you would support them or be there for them in, in a particular way uh i also see here the five of pentacles they um have actually been um they felt like they weren't good enough um yeah very lack mentality um not sure if you know they really love you there was passion but like I said, your person was not uh, in awareness of what true love was. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Now, they want to get out of this uh, long-term separation from what I can see. For some, maybe you've been in separation from, from them. Uh, but what I'm getting here is that they want to get out of this lack mentality. That That's the feeling that I'm getting. And with the Eight of Swords in reverse, they definitely want to get out of their head about being stuck in a situation. They can free themselves, okay, uh, to really invest into a situation um, possibly with you. Now, again, I, I'm just getting a message, okay, that I have a feeling that this is someone that is married to somebody. I don't know, Virgo, if you are married to this person, but I'm definitely am picking up on that, okay? Um, if, if that's not you, your person is married to someone else. Um, and there's, um, there was like, I, I want to say a mother or a baby's mama that got in the way of this connection. And um, they're really sad and depressed that, um, that they had to let this thing go. Um, they really felt like um, it was temporary. You know, um, they were intended for a long term, but it was temporary. Uh, the other thing I'm also saying is that there is no love. 
Okay, they didn't feel emotionally fulfilled in this relationship, and I'm also seeing the Three of Pentacles. So they just stopped putting effort into it. For some, it's been three years. Okay, your person um just stopped trying. Uh, I have a feeling that you know they want to let go. Also, with the Page of Pentacles, um there could be children here involved. Um, they definitely want to work on something. I feel like there is some sort of communication. Uh, that they have been watching you they've been making observations and um, what I'm seeing here is that their intuition is blocked there's something that they're not seeing or perhaps they're holding something back and it's in regards to uh, communicating the truth now for some it could be about uh, an air sign okay um, and uh, what I'm seeing here is that they always felt like um, they're in uh, the they felt mentally uh, conflicted, okay? Maybe they had to hide behind the truth, okay? Someone here is not really communicating um, the truth. That's what I'm feeling. And it's in regards, yeah, because I see here the Seven of Pentacles. Is it about kids? Is it about baby? Did someone hold on to a baby? Uh, did this thing not grow? Maybe for some there was a miscarriage. Um, and I really feel like that's something specific. Okay. Uh, that's not for everyone. But I see that um, they had to let go of this uh, connection because of that. So there's something that they're not telling you. I have a feeling that whoever your person is, maybe they had a baby with someone else, okay? And maybe uh, they pretended that the baby was yours. I don't know. I really feel like it was a very passionate summer. They're making peace that they're kind of sad and depressed that they had to let this thing go. This is a soulmate. This person had to teach you a lesson, okay? There's definitely a change in transformation that's going on uh, for them to uh, feel stuck, but now they are freeing themselves okay uh yeah because we're uh coming around the spring month so there is um uh, maybe a birth maybe a birthing of a child it could be new ideas okay and so they want you to wait okay um they're really blocked okay i really feel like their intuition is really um blocking them from having union with you you know um I feel that your person is very one-sided. They're only uh, attached to their own personal narrative. Like they personally have made the decision to let go. Okay. Um, but I also see that, you know, they're not looking to stay with you, but they're, they want to let go. They're sad and pressed. It's like they already made up their mind. They, they don't, they're not taking into consideration about how you feel in the connection. And that's for some, okay. That's not for everyone. And I feel like there could be a divorce or maybe getting out of a relationship. Maybe this is your person with someone else. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Um, you know, and I see that maybe, uh, if they did have a child with someone else, they're sad and depressed that they had to let you go because, um, you know, something happened down the road. Okay. Uh, also I see here the King of Cups in reverse. Now, honestly, Virgo, your person, um, is emotionally repressed. I have a feeling like they don't really have deep love for, for you they're not really feeling it and um maybe they invested into the connection with you for such a long time and maybe during that time they, they try to fake it to make it but it never um was really the case like they were never really truly in love with you okay that's why you know they're sad that they had to let this thing go but not really okay because i really see that it was just passion and for some maybe you met this person in the summer okay now they're at peace with the whole situation and i know right you're like are, are they feeling like that what about me you know that's what i'm hearing also, yeah, King of Cups in here twice in reverse due to what? A third party situation. Now, um, your person was married, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. And uh, I see here the King of Pentacles. Now, this is you, okay, Virgo. So, um, there was definitely a third party interference. This is what I'm feeling. Your person, 
Okay, and this is a, a specific message. This may not be for everyone. I have a feeling that whoever that you're dealing with, Virgo, whoever your soulmate was, okay, uh, they met you. They had someone else on the side. Maybe this is a past person, a spouse. Take it as it resonates. Um, I have a feeling during that month, you guys, you know, um, had passionate affair, okay? And and I have a feeling that your person got knocked up, okay, and um, they impregnated somebody, okay, or they got pregnant, and it wasn't your, your child. For some, maybe they actually like it was your kid but it really wasn't it was somebody else's now they try to stick it out with you for whatever reason maybe it was because you know with you they really saw that um there was a material security and stability they really felt like you were going to be able to take care of them but i have a feeling that there could have been a third party uh interference in the connection because somebody had expectations now um everyone's situation is different i really feel like you know for some maybe uh someone had already had kids and there was like a new child on the way and so um what i'm also getting is that whoever this person was uh this baby okay was someone else's it wasn't yours okay so um maybe that's why they wanted you to wait but i'm gonna let you know okay let go okay um this person is, is uh you know uh playing oh bohu you know oh, i'm sad virgo i had to let you go but really um they're not emotionally invested into you and i know that that's uh hurtful to hear but that's what i'm saying because it was only passion okay so far from what i've i've picked and you can see through the cards okay when it comes to emotions i don't see anything that's indicative of your person being emotionally invested into you it was always a page of cops in reverse um you know just some feelings of emotions the, the ton of cops in reverse like that's a sign of someone who is just not emotionally invested okay they may cry that they're your soulmate but soulmates could be friends lovers children okay soulmates doesn't have to be a romantic interest that's uh, intended to be in your life forever okay and just know that all things are temporary nothing lasts forever let's see what else You know, so how are they thinking? I see here the Ten of Wands in reverse with the King of Swords and also the Ace of Cups in reverse. Like I said, so far what I'm seeing here, like all the cups are like upside down. Okay, the Ten of Cups in reverse, this tells me that your person is um, wanting to let go of their burdens. Okay, that's what they're thinking and um, they want to communicate their truth okay, that um, maybe uh, they want to mend something and um, they they just need to let this go okay uh with the ace of cups in reverse they need to learn to love themselves and heal themselves first now i don't feel like that you know they have the intention of healing themselves to rekindle romance back with you because it was just passion okay your person was just a broken soul and um you're just one of many um experiences that this person had to go through to uh really learn some kind of a karmic lesson that's what it seems like okay now how do they feel all right so we have your queen of cups in the upright position we have five of cups in reverse and the seven of wands okay so your person i see that how they're feeling is you know they did adore you okay however with the five of cups in reverse you know they feel like you know the situation is, has already happened so this is a past energy maybe in the past five months you know they just fell out of love of the situation and i am also seeing with the seven of wands okay they were just defending themselves that's what i'm saying you know um someone here has tattoos on their body um that's what i'm seeing <laughs> And there's another individual here that likes the ocean. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else. Uh, what is it that they want? So we have the sun with the hangman in reverse and the four of swords in reverse. So what I'm getting here is that there is some kind of revelation, okay, some light that's being shown that they actually need time to do uh, the proper reflection, okay, that um, 
they, they needed to heal. Um, they're almost at the end of their healing is what I'm seeing. So um, they really wanted maybe uh, some time alone to really figure out what it is that they truly want. And what I'm, I'm seeing is that they've come to terms that the best thing is just to let this relationship go. Okay, I know that's really hard to hear, but that's what I'm seeing here for today. Um, so what is the outcome? Yeah, I see here the magician with the ace of pentacles and the star in reverse. So I have a feeling that your person is um, has the tools necessary to take this for another year. Okay, I have a feeling that you've already been in a relationship with this person. They have the opportunity to review like whether or not they should stay or should they go. I have a feeling like um, they're probably telling you to let go. Okay, um, or maybe they're trying to let go of a situation. Now, they have the opportunity to uh, stick it out for another year. However, um, they really don't feel like it, it's a good idea, okay? They really feel like they need to um, really assess like what it is that they truly want, okay? With the star in reverse, uh, they're feeling hopeless, okay? They feel like they need to heal. You know, and I'm also saying that they're just waiting for the right time. Um, right now, they're holding back with communicating. You know, they're just delaying, okay? I, I really feel like they already know what the answer is. It's just they have a hard time of expressing um, how they're feeling. And um, I see that um, they want to move things forward. So maybe... Um, you you've already been in this energy in the past couple of months you've been waiting on this person to uh, contact you or tell you like what it is that they really want okay moving forward um i, I really feel like maybe they're waiting for three weeks um three days but i feel like the time is now okay they've been holding back for the past two months you've been wanting to hear from this person i have a feeling that you guys have been in separation or you know distance yourself for some time to really gain uh, each other's composure about what you guys want moving forward Yeah, and I also see here the Hermit, um, and also the Four of Pentacles, and also the Five of Wands in reverse. So this is your energy, Virgo. So uh, in the future, I see that um, they want to get out of this, uh, this energy, okay, of reflecting. I have a feeling like they needed time to really think about what it is that they want, and um, all they can think about is money, okay? This is a stability. This is a home. Um, they're really tied down to this house or this home situation. Um, also, what I'm seeing is the Five of Wands in reverse. They don't want to fight this anymore. They're just tired of fighting for maybe the sense of security. Now, whatever this Four of Pentacles energy is, it's not worth holding on to, but they're holding on to it because that is all that they know okay so i don't know if you're offering them a sense of stability like maybe a home um it's something like that but let's see Yeah, so I see that they made a decision to end it, okay? Uh, I, I really feel like for some, you guys are going through a legal situation. Um, I also feel like if this person had uh, um, said that you guys were the baby's mama, baby's daddy, or whatever, uh, that is not the case, okay? I feel like it's over. It's not, it's not even, okay? If you did have children with this person, um, you guys aren't... aren't um, you know uh moving on and the connection because of those reasons because i definitely see her justice so um your person has made a decision to cut off this energy okay and go to court that's what i'm seeing guys okay this is a soulmate they're sad and depressed look this sad and depressed like i said i don't i don't get any feelings off of this you know and i know that this um reading might be hard to hear but they're at peace because uh, all it was was a throes of passion it was good while it, was, it lasted it's time to let go okay i have a feeling that your person's ready to move on they were holding on because of a home situation but that's not enough for them to hold down okay the fort okay or hold on to whatever this relationship was that's what i'm seeing so let's see what else any other messages that want to come through
Yeah, look at this. Passion again. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. You know, so there's definitely some passion that was going on. And look, we have time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. I have a feeling that your person says, you know, I need time. Give it time. You know, yes, there was passion there. But now they're sad and depressed that they have to let go. Maybe this is you. Maybe you decided to, to let go and they're sad and depressed because they thought that this passion was love. Okay. Love and passion don't, um, they're not the same. Let's see what else. You know, and honestly, what I felt was that in the very beginning when, when you guys hooked up, okay, there was somebody else too. I, I have a deep suspicion or feeling that that's what happened. And this person was feigning ignorance, okay? Like, no, it wasn't like that. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, it was hot. It was deep. <laughs> Dang, this person it wants to talk. I can't stop thinking about you. The timing just wasn't right for us. Hmm again this person is is crying time i need time it wasn't the right time i hide behind material things what did i say i saw the four pentacles this person's worried about their home or their money or the sense of stability for some maybe you guys share a house okay and that's for some um for others maybe this is them with another person okay and you're the third party you know in this uh, dynamic okay i'm afraid to contact you yeah, maybe, you know, because they don't want to tell you the truth. Finding out the truth crushed me. What did I say? Uh, also, I wish things could be different. I know I was a distraction from your pain. This is what I'm feeling. I have a feeling that whoever this is, okay, and this is not for everyone's energy. I really felt very strongly that somebody got pregnant, okay? That, that baby was not yours okay it was somebody else's baby okay and um the truth crushed them they were they're uh messing around at the same time when you guys were having summer love over here you know that's what i'm seeing you know and with time they're like uh you're just trying too hard give it time give it time right you know but in the meanwhile somebody was was growing bigger and bigger with a baby at the very end okay what i'm seeing is that um there's no baby okay it's over um there's nothing growing between the two of you and um this person has made a decision to cut their losses and separate that's why i see i know that was rough um let's see what else Spirit, uh, what can you reveal to me about this person's energy? What is uh, the guidance? We have reconsider a year from now. Like I said, in the very beginning, I saw the Knight of Pentacles. I have a feeling that it's already been a year. Okay. And they're like, wait, you know, um, you know, they don't know. I don't know. I mean, you make your own decision, right, Virgo? <laughs> I have a feeling that they're like, well, give it a year. I just need time. You know, let's, let's find out, you know, if this is uh, worth salvaging, you know, to reconsider. I really feel like that time is now. Okay, this person um, really didn't work on this situation for the past three years. Like, how much more time do they need, right? You know, maybe they're asking for one more year. Okay, and that's for some. But that's what I have so far. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you again for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiamoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on, on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.